everyone, it's Katie here from the Scrappy Sisters and I am up with another layer for 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life Series 10. This is a sketch by Cheryl Ashcraft. She's a digital scrapbooker, she has a YouTube channel, everything will be linked down below. Um, and she created this sketch and she also gave us some freebies as uh, like files that we could use in our die cutting machines. I didn't do that, I am just creating with paper. Uh, for this sketch um, but she did which was super nice of her so I am uh, I'm not following the sketch exactly but I'm doing a pretty good job I think so I am using some scraps from the indigo mist collection which is from Rosie studio one of the collections I was using as, for my how to kill a kid with style for the month of September um, so I am creating these layouts in advance I think I explained that in my last how to kill a kid with style video that I scrap try to scrap a month ahead in terms of the YouTube videos that you see um, so I try so all of my 30 days of sketches layouts and I'm trying at this point in time to do all 31 but we'll see <laughs> I reserve the right not to finish all 31 um, but we will see how we go and uh, I'm creating all of those in September so yeah I like to be a month ahead if I can um, now I have just created this kind of zigzag effect with my one inch strips I don't remember the exact dimension one inch by two inches maybe um, and I created them with just the some pattern papers from the indigo mist collection and I've got three photos so not quite the same as Cheryl's uh, sketch um, but I was sort of trying to put them in a similar position as to uh, what she's done with her um, kind of four by six photo mat and then she had a space for journaling and the title and I've sort of used that journaling space for another photo as well um, and then I've pulled out a lot of the florals from this collection so there was some acetate no vellum <laughs> not acetate vellum florals uh, and there was some chipboard which I've pulled out and then there were some florals in the die cut pack as well and I've also pulled out there was a couple of like tea ephemera pieces so there was like a stack of three teacups uh, and then for those of you that don't know in the Rosie studio collections you get two lots of ephemera so you get double of everything um, so there were two lots of teacups so I've pulled out both of those um, and then in the wood veneer pack there was a teacup as well so I've pulled that out too just because in that last photo uh, is a picture of a cup of tea with a slice of cake and some flowers so these photos are of my birthday um, this year and that's my dad in the photos as well. So my parents just happened to be here for my birthday. It wasn't planned that way. Um, they were here anyway and they came over. My birthday was on a Friday. So I was home with both the kids. Uh, Lincoln's home from daycare on a Friday. And so um, they came over. Mum had made me a sponge, which I love. Um, and they just came over and um, we had morning tea. And then uh, they continued back home. So they live about three and a half hours away um, from Melbourne or three hours away from where I live in Melbourne. And um, yeah, so that was really lovely. So that was sort of an impromptu birthday celebration. Uh, I turned 39 this year. So, you know, pretending that I'm not turning 40 <laughs> uh, next year. Let's just, you know, so we don't make a big deal out of birthdays. Anybody else? Don't make a big deal out of birthdays. I will probably do something fun for my 40th, but uh, we're just at the moment pretending that that's not happening. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I am matting my photos. Uh, I hadn't already matted them on uh, some white uh, paper. I am actually using, uh, you might see in a minute if I turn it over, I'm using um, some single-sided Rosie Studio paper, uh, which is quite thin. It's from an older Rosie Studio collection. So I believe that their paper is a little thicker now, their 12 by 12 paper. Uh, but this is a very old collection from Rosie Studio and I kind of have finished with that collection. So I'm using the paper to kind of mat uh, my photos so here I am pulling out some other papers that I wanted to match uh, my photos in um, and then I'm actually going to sort of place my ephemera where I want it and then I'm actually going to edit out the sticking down process because this layout took me a couple of days to make uh, I think it was a little more fiddly sorry just letting my dog outside hence opening and closing the door um, it was a little more fiddly uh, than my uh, recent layouts and so it took me a little bit more time between you know kids napping and whatnot to get it filmed so I do edit out the sticking down process part because that took a while and the video was a little long <laughs> uh, but that's what I'm doing I'm just matting my photos on some of the papers and then I'm going to stick down my ephemera 
and of course I'm going to add splatters <laughs> and we'll be finished. Uh, so I will tell you, so for the 30 days of sketches, uh, this is sketches that Christy has asked for members of the 30 days of sketches community to uh, create exclusively for series 10 of 30 days of sketches which is so exciting so there's 31 exclusive sketches created by members of the 30 days of sketches community uh, and there's a facebook page where all of those sketches will be listed and you guys can play along and use them to create to your heart's content uh, and then um, yep, there's a lot of videos coming at you this month. Um, a lot of people participate in this series and so Christy has a playlist. So it will be a large playlist. There will end up being hundreds of videos on this playlist but it is a nice way to have all of that content together so you don't have to worry about clicking everybody's links in the description box because the description boxes were just getting far too long um, and you can just click through the playlist. It'll play automatically through all of the different videos and you will find lots of amazing new youtubers to follow so that will be exciting um, so that will all be linked in the description box so i am just sticking down my bits and pieces now i only created two of these sort of zigzaggy chevrony bits uh, obviously cheryl in her sketch um, has a lot more <laughs> uh, you could use that you know take it as pattern paper or whatever you like but i just created these two chevrony pieces i probably could have done a third but i didn't uh, and and then I'm going to pop my photos on top of that. I was going to stagger my photos, but I end up actually putting them in a straight line. And this uh, layout doesn't have a title. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Something a bit different, but it doesn't have a title. I thought about it. I don't really think it needs one. Uh, it's pretty obvious what the photos are. I will do like a slight line of journaling, but as soon as I put the date on, I'm going to know it's my birthday. Uh, and so I will, yeah, I just, I don't know, I felt I didn't need one. <laughs> so I am going to pop up the middle photo, which uh, I could have used any photo as a middle photo, but I decided to use the one uh, that has my son uh, blowing out the birthday candle. She can't see Addison, he's covering her, um, but it was cute. So that's what I decided to do. Um, I wasn't going to, I, I uh, was going to, and I put that in the middle, sorry, the popped up photo. I was going to put it on the left hand side, but it sat better in the middle. Um, in terms of it didn't cover uh, yeah any part of the rest of the photos so yeah that's all I'm that's all I'm doing and the the photo on the right hand side as I said with the cup of tea and the slice of cake and the flowers that was also uh, for my birthday after my parents had left um, flowers arrived for me and Danny had organized for them to be delivered which was nice I think that's the first time he has ever done that uh, and apparently he ordered them weeks ago and forgot <laughs> So uh, hats off to Danny for remembering my birthday, even if it was a few weeks before and then forgetting that he ordered <laughs> flowers. Uh, so that was a very nice surprise. Um, now I'm just replacing my embellishments where I think they might go. Um, and then as I said, I'm going to edit out the sticking down part because really I'm just then sticking everything kind of exactly where it's placed now. Um, I'm trying to use up sort of a lot of the floral ephemera on this. Uh, as I said, this was one of my collections that I was trying to use up in the month of August, no, September. Uh, you will see, you will already know if I ended up using it up. Uh, I so far have done a pretty good job uh, and we're only in early September. Uh, but in the videos that I've been creating, I've done a pretty good job at using this up. So I'm hopeful that I have completely killed this kit uh, or this collection, I should say. Um, because I feel like I feel like I will. I'm feeling very positive. So as I said, you guys will already know because you will have seen my How to Kill a Kit with Style wrap up. Uh, and the new kit that I'm working on uh, for the month of October. But anyway, let's see how we go. So everything is magically stuck down by the power of editing. I did use my wet glue to stick down my chipboard pieces and I popped up a couple of the word strips. Um, they say celebrate this day, love, capture the moment and bliss. And then I'm just going to add a few of the gold, no, a few of the Hide Top Colour Shine in blush as my splatters. And then we'll be finished. So as I said, everything will be linked in the description box down below. Uh, so a link to the playlist, a link to all of Cheryl's uh, social media that I can find who created this sketch, as well as a link to 30 Days of Sketches uh, because the Facebook group has all of the sketches listed. So if you are someone who loves sketches, that is a Facebook group you want to be a part of because Chrissy has... Uh, technically 11 um, albums worth of sketches so they all have 30 sketches in each uh, they're not all exclusive sketches but nonetheless there are a lot of sketches so everything will be linked down below here's my close-up and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys bye